the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We begin in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here in the presence of God to dedicate this chapel to the glory of His holy name and for the furtherance of His work among His people. Amen. A dino Safwa Abashe Yensa, the Amar presiding bishop. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Me today, whether this is sorry, Ghana, registered trustees, and then. A day, a day, Safwa, a free of the in one year, a Russia. Now, you today, a share with your main answer. Oh, no, I didn't crown crown in tea. Amen. Amen. The other friend, Nana, the Russia, no man, but now, yet, I'm a man. And of the Holy Spirit. Open to be the gates of righteousness. I will go into it and praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. If we a day up no any two ja when ya me ja or ba any so so crown crow demo. Amen.
women in the year 1971. After a while, the people of the year one society decided to expand their chapel. This compelled those from Quetia to have their service at Quetia at Mame Koko's house. These women were not educated, so it was Mame Koko's children who helped them with Bible reading. Sometimes, some leaders from Koko also visited to them with the sharing of the word of God. Along the line, a man by name Mr. Jacob K. Ayesu, who was an electrician working at Kenal Yahuwah's house in 1973, and a member of the ALE Zion Church, joined the women to worship. He became the caretaker and helped with the reading of the Bible. Later, the church grew in number and they moved from a neighbor's house to Miss Sikes house. In the late 1973, the first camp meeting was held at the Quartia in front of Mr. Hanson's house, that is Petrosia. The camp meeting won many souls, making Miss Sikes house too small to accommodate them. Due to this, the leadership of the church went to see the then chief of Mugatia, the late Nana Atubidiago, who gifted the church, which used to be the place of worship of the faith church in the year 1974 to the church. This became the place of worship for, for the society until the year 2023 when a group of people started building a wall around the church, claiming ownership of the land. All efforts to get them to dialogue proved truthful until 30th September 2023, when they told the church to move and never worship them again. They put the place under lock and key. The church had no right to worship until Mr. Panson spoke with the Snapeni of Pediana House, that is a Jack Asim Field, who offered us a place in the house. That is where the church has been worshipping from day October 2023 to date, when Obeni Kwame here and the Gastros son of Ubertia and the son of our latest member, Mame Elizabeth Jesua, came to our aid. And then here we are, seeing what we are seeing today with this magnificent edifice for the church. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.
Justin Kulia. MPP, General Secretary. Oh, wow. Thank you. 